Yes. He was asked? Yes. Yes. I asked Michael Moore to speak. He said yes. Now we've closed, folks. This is Michael Moore, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. I did not ask to speak. Um, I, came, I came here just as a citizen. You've seen me, I've been at... Speak up, please. I, uh, I did not ask to speak. Uh, just before the meeting ended, one of the facilitators came over and asked me if I'd say a few words, and I said, sure. Uh, but that's, I just want to be here. I'm one of millions. And um, I, um, um, I like, I come to these meetings, I come to the GAs, I'm a participant, I don't just show up. Um, um, I don't have a camera with me. I don't, I'm just here as a citizen, just like you are. And we're all in this together. And uh, so uh, this, this man asked me to, to, if I'd say a few words, so. I said, yes, I would, but I, I didn't come here for that. Um, so I hope you know that. I, 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 um, I just, think we had that. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I think it's very, I think the beauty of this movement is that it doesn't have a spokesperson or a leader, and they keep asking who's the leader and who's the spokesperson. And my answer always is there's 10 million leaders and 10 million spokespeople because uh, millions of people in this country have a story to tell. Everybody in this room has a story to tell. And everybody is a spokesperson for this movement. Everybody watching this on the live stream right now, you're a spokesperson for the Occupy movement. Um, and I, I, I've been working on these issues about Wall Street and the banks and corporate America for over two decades. Um, so this is not, this is not, uh, this is not playtime for me. This, uh, this movement is the most important thing that's happened uh, in our lifetime. And it is because all the various evils in our system, all the spokes, all come to this one hub of those who control this country and the world and have wrecked it. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been traveling the country in the last few months. I've been to probably two dozen occupies around the country, every place from um, uh, Seattle and Portland and Vancouver, up that way to the smallest uh, towns, um, in Nevada City, uh, Nevada City, California. There's 400 people there in this little tiny mountain town. Um, that's the way it is all over the country. I think you know that, right? It's, mm -hmm. This has spread like wildfire. And, and, and that every poll shows that the majority of Americans agree with the principles of the Occupy Wall Street movement. Every single poll shows that either a majority support Occupy Wall Street or support the principles of it. That's amazing for a movement that is 15 weeks old. <laughs> <laughs> And I just, and I, I, you know, those of you who are my age or, or older, um, we know that 15 weeks into the civil rights movement, the majority of Americans did not support it. 15 weeks into the feminist movement, the majority of Americans did not support it. 15, year, 15 weeks into the anti-Vietnam War movement, the majority of Americans did not support it. Those various issues, uh, and, and gay rights, and all, just pick any. It has taken years to move the mountain that is the American public. A nation of good-hearted people, but who are slow learners. <laughs> when it comes to the social issues of humanity. But in the end, end up doing well. I mean, we, back in 2004, we suffered through an election night where dozens of states passed hateful anti-gay uh, laws in 2004. Three months ago, for the first time in the 
Gallup, or whatever the poll, the big poll was, for the first time ever, 54%, a majority of Americans, said they support gay marriage. It should be the law of the land across the country. Now, to go from 04 to that in, in six plus years, that's remarkable. But in 15 weeks, in 15 weeks, you've got 72% of the American people that want taxes on the rich to be raised. They want the people responsible for the crash to be put in jail. <laughs> they want the regulations put back. They want the money out of politics. They, you go down the whole list. Uh, they want their planet to be here for their grandchildren. They, they, they are tired of the bigotry and the racism and the homophobia. And that's, the, that's the country we live in. It's a majority movement. And the hardest part of any political movement is to try to convince those who disagree with us to please think about agreeing with the things that we stand for. We don't have to do the hardest part. The American people are already with us. So now, I can tell you, because they watch these meetings on live stream, I've, 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 I've had this privilege. Not many people have, can say they've been to two dozen Occupy uh, sites around the country. So I've seen this firsthand. And um, I, want, I want you to know here in New York City, uh, because you were the spark of this, um, that the rest of the country is really looking in at these meetings, at the GAs, at the spokes consuls. Please know that, that, that this is, that people are desperate for your direction, our direction, support, ideas, action, action, action. A little bit of talk, action. A little bit of talk, action. I mean, four, 400 people, 400 people in Fayetteville, Arkansas, in Occupy Fayetteville. In the, Walmartville. Walmart. Um, they, they, they are. It came from here. They don't consider this the Vatican, but they do. They do. They are counting on us here to get this thing into 2012 and keep doing what we've done to already get so many of the majority of Americans with us, and and they want the next steps. Now, I know some of them, especially people my age and older, are saying, oh, you know, we got to get down to the list of demands, and we got to get down to, you know, these things. And, yes, I think that's important. I'm on the demands uh, working group. And <laughs> I've been... <laughs> you want me! I want me. <laughs> but, I've, but I've been quiet. I've been quiet there. I haven't said anything there. I just go, and I go to the, the vision and, and goals group. Um, but let me say this, that uh, especially to the younger people here, the process is every bit as important as these demands right now. And you have to know that it's your process that you created here, that it's why it's spread. If you had done it the old traditional way, with your one leader, with your, that spokesperson, that, and, and, and done it in this rigid sort of way, it wouldn't have spread like it spread. But because everybody from Fayetteville to Nevada City believes that they can be occupiers too, and they're automatically part of this movement, not by signing a card, paying dues, uh, going to the weekly meetings or whatever. They can actually just say, I am part of the Occupy movement by saying, I am part of the Occupy movement. At that moment you say it, you're in it. And, yeah. and I love, I know, you know, some people said to me tonight, oh, Mike, I'm sorry you have to see all, you know, I was here at the meeting a couple weeks ago with the sign and, and all the craziness and, and, but, you know, it's okay. This is, this is in its infancy. And there's these growing pains. The growing pains are okay. Don't, everybody stick with it. Don't drop out. Don't say, I can't take this anymore. Ah, this is crazy. You know, you, <laughs> it's, we're, we're a little baby right now. We can barely talk, you know, so... Yes. <laughs> right, exactly. So, so, so don't be too hard on yourselves. 
Keep this process going, this egalitarian consensus process. Um, uh, just be kind uh, to each other because we have all um, suffered uh, through so much in these last few decades and especially the last decade where we've conducted a war upon the world and where so many of our fellow citizens, the fact that we now live in a country where half of the population either lives in poverty or, or a paycheck away from poverty. This is absolutely disgraceful. It's why we're a majority movement. And when people ask me, who started this? Who started this movement? Ah, it was that magazine in Vancouver. <laughs> no, it wasn't a magazine in Vancouver. They ran a full page ad. <laughs> and they told us to have one demand. And that was supposed to be it. No, no, who started this movement are the people at Goldman Sachs and Citibank and Bank of America and BP and ExxonMobil. They put their boot on the necks of the American people for just a month or two too long. If they could have just gone halfway greedy or 70% greedy and stopped a year or two ago, this may not have happened, but they couldn't. They had to have more and more and more and more and, and the American public has just said enough and we are part of this movement. We believe in this movement and it is to everyone's credit in here to, for having to help make this happen. And um, let's push into 2012 with action. This movement built because of the brave actions you took on the Brooklyn Bridge uh, by, by Union Square. Um, you know, all the, the, the the police and the mayor, and by the way, whoever the, whoever the undercover NYPD person is here tonight, I, I, I just want to, I just want to say welcome. Uh, you are part of the 99%. My my guess is they rotate you guys because if if you sat here for too long at too many weeks. You would start to go, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so welcome, NYPD undercover person. Um, but, um, but uh, the mayor doesn't get it. Wall Street doesn't get it. They're so deaf to what really is happening, and they think this is going to fall apart in the winter. <laughs> and. <laughs> Wait till the spring comes. <laughs> if they don't understand the human, the human population, history is full of examples from Leningrad to Valley Forge to uh, the people who took over the factories in Flint, Michigan 75 years ago this week. They occupied the factories for 44 days in the dead of winter and they created the modern day mo union movement. 75 years ago this week it started. My uncle was in that sit-down strike. He sat in there for 44 days. He was one of the first occupiers. And so the winter, no. What has been done to this planet and to the people on it is far worse than any snow or coal or sleet. And this movement isn't going to stop. It has to continue with action through the winter and, and we're always one or two feet ahead of these guys anyways. And um, I just want to encourage that in these meetings and at the GA, that we try to, everybody here, try to become part of the whole. That when we walk through that door, we are no longer just me, myself, and I. It's important that we never lose our individuality that we respect every single person in here, even if they're the lone voice. But at, some, but at some point, for this to succeed, we have to realize that we're doing this as a whole and to try and check those parts of us that are um, in need. And these meetings aren't really for that. Um, that's my personal opinion from, from what I've seen. But please don't take that to mean that um, people, anybody here shouldn't participate or say anything or whatever. But I'm just saying that if you're watching this now, you're watching, people are watching this across the country. They, they want to know, well, I just watched this for three hours. What are we going to do? 
What are we doing this week? What are we doing next week? What are we doing the week after? They want to know. They know what they're doing locally, we're but they want to feel part. Vigil on Martin Day. They want to feel part of the whole group. Yes, so tonight, you heard about the vigil on Martin Luther King Day. 2 p.m. Uh, you can't come to Mayor Bloomberg's house if you live in Idaho. <laughs> but, but, but the, the vigil, the candlelight vigil is worldwide. Yeah, so anyways. I, honest to God, I did not come here to say a word. You've seen me here. I sit here quietly. I just want to be one of the whole. Thing. My name is Finn Jaffe, and I'd like to welcome you to Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> well, and, and I and I and I would like to welcome I would like to welcome you because after after 20 years of doing this pretty much alone, at great uh, personal risk to myself, uh, things that you know I don't really discuss in public a whole lot. Uh, I, you ca I can't tell you how much you have made me feel uh, so alive and so good and that those 20 years was worth it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, all of you. Thanks for the...